So today, you guys are gonna be getting ready with me as I show you what I do on a weekend morning. So first off, I like to start my day with a hot drink and recently I've been obsessed with the hazelnut cappuccino K-Cups. They are seriously heavenly. And then after that, I like to make a bowl of cereal and I'm really loving the Honey Nut Cheerios Medley Crunch with some raspberries on the top. And then after that, it's shower time. And I like to use a clarifying shampoo at the end of the week just to kind of get all the gunk out of my hair and then I follow up with a deep conditioner and this one is my favorite it's super moisturizing and smells amazing and then I like to use this body wash because it just smells really good and girly after getting out of the shower I got a moisturize so I've been loving this strawberry body butter from the body shop this stuff is incredible it makes you smell like strawberry shortcake in a really really good way then I gotta brush my teeth, so I like using the Crest Complete with Scope toothpaste, so just brushing away. And then I like to wet my face a little bit so I can start washing my face with my Michael Todd True Organics Tropical Fruit Scrub, and I love this. I had a sample of it and I used up the entire thing, and it's amazing. It's super gentle, and you can use it every day, but it still gets the job done and leaves your skin nice and smooth. Now on the weekend, I usually like to use some kind of face mask, and this True Organics Avocado and Mango Mask is currently my favorite. It's really nice and hydrating, so I just put an even layer all over my face and it kind of just replenishes my skin after a long week and then I leave it on my face for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I rinse it off and if you're interested in this mask I'll have a link down below for you guys as well as links for everything else in this video and now for moisturizer I'm going to be using my favorite one from Aveeno And then I have my True Organics Intensive Organic Eye Cream, which I really love. I was using this only at night, and now I've started using it during the day because I found that it works really well underneath makeup, and it feels lighter than my Bobbi Brown eye cream, but it's just as hydrating. For makeup, I like to keep things pretty fresh and light on the weekends, so I'm going to start off by using my Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream, and this stuff is seriously awesome. It's definitely my favorite drugstore BB Cream that I've tried so far. It feels really good on the skin, and if you follow up with a second layer, you can get great coverage out of it. Then I come in with my Physicians Formula Conceal RX and I use this to cover up any kind of discoloration that's still showing through, so hyperpigmentation, blemishes, anything like that. For dark circles, I really like using the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer. I heard about this through Casey or It's Blondie and this stuff is amazing. It's really brightening but it doesn't crease or cake up underneath your eyes. Then, of course, I have to follow up with my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray, and this helps control the oils on my face and it just feels really nice and refreshing. And then, I like to use my Chanel Mattifying Powder, which I find just works really well with BB creams because it adds a little bit more coverage and keeps my skin shine free all day. Now it's time to fill in the brows, so I'm going to be using my brow powder here and I'm just going to fill in my brows to define them a little bit more. Instead of brow gel, I'm going to be using clear mascara today because I saw my friend Nikki Philippi use this and I was really curious, so I tried it and it works really well. For eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using my favorite one from NARS and this just helps prevent the eyeshadows from creasing. And then I'm going to be using my Milani Shadow Eyes in Brown Deluxe, and this is a really great base to use. So I'm putting a little bit on my eyes and then smudging it out so it's really subtle. Now I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Natural Nude Shimmer Strip, and I'm going to take the two middle colors and mix them together to create this like pinky taupe color, and I'm just going to sweep that all over my lids. Next, I'm going to be using my NARS eyeliner in Via Venito, which is just a black color, and I'm going to line the upper inner rims of my eyes, and my pinky was blocking the view on this side, but I'm just doing the same thing. To define my lower lash line a little bit, I'm going to be using a satin taupe from MAC and a really soft brush, and I'm just going to smudge it in. 
now it is time to curl my eyelashes and I'm sure you guys know the drill here so just curling away and then following up with some mascara this is the shocking extensions by L'Oreal and this is another thing that Casey made me want to get and I love it this mascara is very volumizing and it separates your lashes at the same time for blush, I'm going to be using Milani's Luminoso, which is a very pretty peachy color. So I'm just going to sweep this across my cheeks. And then I'm going to follow up with my NARS Laguna Bronzer, and I'm just going to dust this around the edges of my face. To keep my lips hydrated, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Baby Lips in Pink Wink. And this stuff tastes amazing, by the way, just so you know. And then I'm going to top it all off with my Revlon Lip Gloss in Peony, which is a really nice peachy pink color with a little bit of shimmer in it. So that's it for makeup, and now moving on into hair, I'm going to be using my Fakai Brilliant Glossing Cream, and this just kind of smooths out your hair. So I'm going to put this through my hair, which has air dried now. I like to avoid heat styling on the weekends if I can, just to kind of give my hair a break. And then I'm going to braid my hair in a simple side braid. And the great thing about braids is they're super easy, and you're left with really pretty waves the next day. So hair is finished, and now for body spray, I have been obsessed with Victoria's Secret Pure Daydream. Oh my gosh, so good. For a quick little nail treatment, I like using Essie's Apricot Cuticle Oil. And I just put a little bit on every single finger and then I massage it in. And this just really helps keep my nails and cuticles nourished and hydrated. So now it is time to move on into clothing and I like to keep things really comfortable and casual on the weekends. So I'm wearing these floral keds that I absolutely love. And then up top I'm wearing two tanks, one from American Eagle and then the one with the cameras on it is from Brandy Melville. My skinny jeans are from American Eagle, and then the oversized baggy cardigan that I'm wearing is from Brandy Melville, and I love it. It's just super cozy and comfy and perfect for the weekends. Shall I write it in a letter? Shall I try to get it? For accessories, I'm wearing my Rebecca Minkoff bag that I actually found at a Buffalo Exchange, which was awesome. And then I have my sunglasses in this cute little case from Forever 21. And my glasses are also from Forever 21. And then for jewelry, I'm wearing this Tiffany's necklace that my boyfriend got me for my birthday. And then this ring from Brandy Melville. So that's going to be it for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Can I take it to a moment Where the fields are pain and gold And the trees are filled with memories Of the feelings never told